Hi buddy, uh, hello and welcome once again. Now, with your 5K or rather 5,000 Kenya shillings, what can you be able to do with it, right? So I'm here to break down for you the top 20 profitable side hustles that you can actually do without small amount of money. Now, we are really not uh, in a situation whereby we can pump a lot of money in big businesses, uh, especially within these current economic times. So it's very, very important that we sort out ourselves with uh, very uh, manageable businesses and that's why uh, we want to learn about these profitable side hustles especially maybe for someone who is uh, uh, wondering uh, what they can be able to do uh, during their free time or what kind of business they can manage with that small amount of money so i've already opened my blog actually if you're wondering what uh, which website is this i'm just kind of uh, going to pick uh, the 20 best uh, say hustles that I've already written about I've done some research and I'll really assure you that you can always make some kill uh, when you do these kind of businesses so the first one is actually selling perfumes I don't know how many of us we have encountered these ladies and uh, young men who walk and knock on our doors selling perfumes right so these are very uh, lucrative or rather a uh, good side hustle that you can start right so if you work hard maybe per day you can make between a thousand to two thousand kenya shillings right uh, it's very very uh, good business because you can uh, maybe purchase a perfume in wholesale at a price of 100 kenya shillings and then uh, break it down and sell it at a cost of 300 shillings so these are very good uh, business that you can be able to start uh, the other business or side hustle is uh, the pima weight business i don't know if you have uh, uh, met these guys on streets right they'll always call you to uh, pima your weight yeah uh, so these pima weight guys make a lot of money uh, you will be wondering maybe how much they make right so ideally uh, this business you can start it with uh, five kenya uh, five thousand kenya shillings and you can always uh, uh, maybe uh, tell people to give you 10 shillings per uh, measurement or when you have, they measure their weight they you charge them 10 shillings right so you can always make between 300 and 500 kenya shillings as per the statistics right so you only need around four to five thousand kenya shillings to start this particular business uh for those of us who purchase uh, uh maybe the groceries or rather some kills you know of this particular mama burgers yeah so you can start your your business uh grocery business locally uh by maybe investing five thousand kenya shillings so depending on your location right uh we're talking about now traffic here you can make between 500 to a thousand uh, between 300 to a thousand kenya shillings uh selling this grocery it could be fruits uh, vegetables right and other grocery supplies uh you have also met ideally in traffic jams or even in the streets people selling water bottled water so this is another business that you can always maybe venture in right as you figure out what to do right so you can always uh, get contact with suppliers uh, suppliers who no normally supply this particular uh, bottled waters yeah uh, and then they can always allow you uh, to sell that particular water uh, bottled water so here you are guaranteed to make between 500 uh, to a thousand kenya shillings uh, per day right uh, you can also become a clone i mean there are those people are talented you just uh, sit with people somewhere you crack some jokes and they laugh right so you can maybe turn this on round to become an income generating activity so you can perform some tricks while wearing costume yeah you can jiggle some youngsters right so uh, maybe uh, you can be able to make a 5k to 10k in a good day. I hope you have met these guys uh, maybe in the streets. Yeah, so it's very, very important uh, to maybe check out if you can perform this particular uh, activity. So you need to uh, have a budget of 5,000, uh, maybe 2,500 to uh, purchase your costume, right? So you are guaranteed to make a steady 3,000 Kenya shillings uh, per day. And then we have this other business uh, where you make and sell liquid soap, right? So people normally make their own soap, right? And you can also maybe partner with other suppliers so that you 
uh, purchase uh, this liquid soap in large quantity then you uh, actually break it down yeah into small uh, quantities and then you sell it so you can always uh, uh, sell uh, one liter of liquid soap at 50 shillings right and you are guaranteed to make between 500 kenya shillings uh, to a thousand uh, kenya shillings per day right uh, you can also walk around with this liquid soap as you look for new market then we have selling of socks and undergarments i don't know but there's a kill in this kind of business i ha i happen to have met someone uh, who sold me socks when i was in campus that is 20 years ago and they are still selling it up to now so there, there, there is some kind of uh, good money that they make, right? So you can always invest in 5,000 Kenya uh, shillings, right? And of course, you can make a good money. Then we have selling of cosmetic products. Now, this is the best skill, right? People want to look good, not only men, but also uh, women. So you can always uh, look for this particular cosmetic products. Uh, we talk about... Uh, uh, maybe doing uh, nail tech uh, technology. We are, we talk about cos cosmetology. So all these, yeah, uh, you want to ensure that people uh, uh, look well maybe when they go to work. So you can always sell for them uh, these particular uh, products. And of course, this is what I'm doing right now: starting uh, online blog. Now, uh, starting online blog. Uh, if you are interested in this. Uh, uh, kind of uh, a hassle you can always comment i'll really guide you uh, so you need to have some passion you need to uh, maybe narrow down to some niche the topics that you want to talk about then you need to register your 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 blog domain uh, you need to host it right uh, you just need a few shillings that is between three to five thousand kenya shillings and you'll start your blog then you have the other hassle uh, doormats, selling of doormats, right? So you can purchase some doormats at an average of 5,000 Kenya shillings and then you can always uh, sell them. Uh, if you have some experience on how you can uh, create them, you can also do the same, right? But you need few materials such as wool, needles, scissors, and crochet, right? Then you can also do some uh, strawberry jam homemade strawberry uh, strawberry jam so you need to find a good recipe of what people like and you can also make a kill on this particular uh, business then selling of baby diapers if maybe you are in a flat or apartment <laughs> yeah and you have maybe noted your neighbors or uh, friends uh, who have the newborns those are your customers I mean you can start by selling to them as you widen up your uh, base right so uh, it's also another important or rather good hassle and of course uh, delivering groceries i see people doing it uh, most of the time right you deliver you purchase maybe you can go to uh, the um, what do you call it nyamakima and all those bigger markets and then you deliver the groceries to the doorsteps of people uh, we also have another one, though not very familiar, uh, but it's a bit technical, is flipping domains. Flipping domains simply means you look for websites that are not really being used. Uh, you purchase them and then you resell them to other people, right? So you can always make a good money, uh, maybe a profit of uh, between five, 400 Kenya shillings to 1,200. Uh, talking about cosmetics, also there's another niche, uh, maybe doing manicure and pedicure uh, business. In another video, I'll show you how to start this kind of business. Very, very profitable. And I think uh, if uh, given a chance, I can really start this particular business. Yeah, because everyone wants to uh, look uh, beautiful. Now, there's also uh, this other uh, business and maybe side hustle. The last one in our list is selling potatoes. If you look around, there are very many uh, shops or other outlets uh, or eateries uh, or hotels that sell what we refer to as chips. Yeah, So selling potatoes is actually on demand. So you can always go to the farms 
make some contact with people who produce these potatoes and uh, transport them or deliver them to these uh, outlets uh, or other eateries and you can always make a lot of money. So ladies and gentlemen, I think these are some of the side hustles that you can always uh, uh, factor in, you can think about them. If you know someone who is doing this business, kindly contact them and they'll take you through uh, how they make the money, how they get started and I believe you are going to make some profit. So that is all. If you find this information very useful, kindly uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. All right. Thanks.